A lot of people have been curious about this, so here's a quick little breakdown of our new raw and uncut razor comb. First things first, you want to point out and identify the detailed and blemished areas. When it comes to the lineup, you do want to make sure that you work nice and gently in this area. It's a very sensitive area for a whole lot of people, so you definitely want to make sure you comb through that thing thoroughly. All right, make sure the hair is laying down properly. Seek out all the thin sections and reserve enough hair to put in work. As you can see, there's two sides of the comb, so you obviously want to select the smaller side of the teeth when approaching the bottom section of your fade. This side is actually compared to a half guard. Uh-oh, there go that lineup again. Remember to target this area lightly, flip the comb around, lift it to a 90 degree angle, and make sure you put a little bit more length on there, that way you approach things nice and gentle. Remember, it's just detailing. You're not gonna catch a whole lot of hair falling off the comb. You're just gonna hit it until you hit that perfect finish. Keep in mind, just in case you need a closer blend, you can always flip that comb around, hit it with the backstroke, go against the grain, get a little bit closer to that blend, all right? Perfect tool to utilize when you wanna tighten up that fade.